on the other side of this base, it's a golf course that's not quite as pristine as the beach that you're looking at now. You'll see in some of the pictures that I show in videos that the course conditions at South Padre Island Golf Club could definitely do for some upgrades. In South Padre Island, Texas, I'm uh, about to play the South Padre Island Golf Club. Uh, starting here on the back nine today, uh, just a nice cool morning, 83 degrees. This course is all about. Started here on number 10 due to maintenance being performed on the front nine. And this was one of the best holes on the course due to the dog leg right. Made you think, forced you to hit a shaped shot um, and, and a pretty straightforward shot into the green if you were able to get into the fairway there, uh, which I was able to do. But honestly, this is a very resort worthy course. Wide open fairways, very little imagination. Um, and challenge honestly uh, I didn't start off very well just due to not getting a warm-up so I'll grind it out here these first few holes until I get a rhythm Here you can take a look at some of the poor course conditions on this tee box. It was actually worse than it appears on screen. At this point, I started to get a little frustrated with my putting as I was burning edges and missing opportunities for birds and saving par. So it's running a little bit hot. Here you see the preview of the Arco system and mapping, which I've been using the last few rounds. I found some frustration with it, uh, which I'll be detailing in the video here soon. As I approach the green, you can continue to see some of the struggle conditions going on, burnt out spots as you approach the green complex. The bunkers were actually pretty consistent throughout, but you can just see um, they've struggled with the course conditions, even in the background of this shot. As we move around the hole number one on the front side of the course, another uninspiring wide open hole drove it in the bunker. Was able to get up and down for par, putting it in off the green here. next hole leads into their signature hole part three that has the bay in the background and here you can see us panning over and you can see that part three is green in the background and then we trace down the following hole and I hate being a dead horse but Again, you see the lack of creativity in putting this course together. Wide open fairway is that one random bunker out to the left there. And in the uh, foreground, you can see a threesome that was playing in front of me that I caught up with when I started the back nine. But uh, being uncourteous golfers, they never let me play through. So I had to play behind them the entire back nine.
And this was a shortish drivable par four, which I didn't realize until I had hit and gone through the green. Ended up having to apologize to the guys because I came pretty close to them. another one so this is the home hole for me this day going into number nine uh, if you're in south padre island great vacation town reasonable cost clean beaches but this is the closest golf course and unless you want to drive into brownsville uh, which is about 45 minutes but golf even on a mediocre course is still golf so check it out <laughs> 